Hey everyone, this is Renzo with Fantasmic, and we're back today with another art book review. Uh, this is the HMS Tribute to Yasushi Nirasawa book, or MOOC, if you want to be technical about it. That's a lot of letters and names you might not be familiar with, so who is Yasushi Nirasawa? Well, Yasushi Nirasawa is an artist, a sculptor, character designer, uh, who sadly passed away in 2016, but during his very prolific career, he designed uh, characters for Tokusatsu series like Kamen Rider and Garo. He did work on video games like Soul Calibur. Uh, and you may be wondering, what is HMS? Uh, it stands for Hidden Models and Sculptors. Uh, it's, being pub it's a sort of new line of side books being published by Hobby Japan which is itself a reference to SMH, which stood for Sensational Model and Hobby. Each issue was very high quality, whereas uh, your standard Hobby Japan would talk about, uh, you know, your, your mobile suit Gundams and, you know, whatever, your Evangelions and whatever is going on that's, you know, a little more conventional. SMH talked about, like, artisanal... It is a bespoke and unusual model kits and figures. Uh, talked about films, like here's an interview with Shinya Tsukamoto. Uh, a lot of the very like niche sort of garage kit sort of stuff. And Nirasawa was a frequent contributor to SMH. And here's an article about like someone did their own sort of redesign of the Jersey Devil. That's pretty cool. So... This new art book, HMS, is sort of trying to rekindle that and sort of evoke that period, that, you know, sort of aesthetic. So what this art book does is that it gets um, sculptors working today who are making new, like, statues and figures based on Nirasawa's characters from Nirasawa's, you know, manga that he wrote called Phantom Core and some of the other characters he made who would pop up in Hobby Japan and other, like, similar model kit or tokusatsu-related magazines uh, throughout the 90s. So let's open it up and take a look. So Nirasawa has this style. Even though, like, these are other artists doing figures based on Nirasawa's work, you can absolutely see, like, this is definitely Nirasawa's style, because he had this very sort of baroque, very hyper-detailed sort of approach to his characters. Nothing was subtle, nothing was understated. Every character, every Nirasawa character wants to be the most important character in the room when they're around. But yeah, there's this very bold quality to Nirasawa's characters. They're all very big, very muscular. And you could tell that Nirasawa is very into Western entertainment. Like, if you looked at photos of his studio, he collected Batman toys, Spider-Man toys. He loved American movies. He loved American comic books. So if you look at his work, there's a lot of this sort of, like, very gonzo, over-the-top, sort of aesthetic, a lot like, you know, live action, like sci-fi blockbusters, like through the 90s. But yeah, if you look at a lot of his stuff, like you can tell like Nirasawa is probably a very big fan of uh, Simon Bisley, because you can definitely see a lot of that kind of like Lobo, um, kind of Vertigo era DC kind of aesthetic. A lot of these sculptures uh, are based on Nirasawa's characters from his comics, which ran in Hobby Japan. Um, Bar Cyclops, I think this appears in one of his earlier art books, Creature Core. And a lot of Nirasawa's world had this kind of like detail on top of detail on top of detail. There's a lot of like insects and um, Giger-like elements to Nirasawa's work. And it's almost like... Um, common writer but realer and grosser phantom core was uh an ongoing comic book that nirasawa published um a lot of you know just odd vignettes and characters but this is sort of a new chapter a tribute chapter by uh 
Hiromoto Shinichi. But yeah, this is a lot like, you know, this still is very much in spirit with Nirasa's work. Because he'd have like some cool, vaguely Rutger Hauer looking guys. You'd have girls in crazy costumes. You got monsters. It's just whatever, whatever Nirasawa's id could conjure up. Nothing is, nothing is very even or neat or symmetrical in Nirasawa's characters, but it's all very deliberate. You can tell it all like, even though it's asymmetrical, there's a sense of weight and counterbalance to it. So this section, um, we're going more into sculptures that aren't necessarily based on Nirasawa's like own characters, but definitely have his sort of you know style and and aesthetic going on. I've always wanted to put together a Nirasawa uh, garage kit, but at the same time, there's like so much detail to his characters. And like, I've never felt like I had the skills to properly paint it and do it justice. Not to mention since he passed away, like your average Nirasawa garage kit could be like 300 plus dollars. So if you break something, I can't be like, oh, well, gee, I'll just pop over to the hobby store. They probably got another couple of them on the shelf. Let's take a look at some Nirasawa's actual work from when he was alive so you can sort of get an idea of uh, his style. Uh, there's the art book Niragram. This is, I've held on to this book for many, many years. It's, it's a treasured part of my collection. Binding's probably going to eventually fall apart because I keep flipping through it so much. But yeah, everything about his design work is very over the top. And I like that he doesn't take his stuff like too seriously. There's always like kind of a slightly camp, slightly tongue in cheek aspect to it. I'm pretty sure he was cribbing from Stargate with this guy. This is like the, this is the sort of like edgy aesthetic that I really like. Like it's edgy, but it doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel mean spirited. It's goofy and over the top but deliberately so in a deliberately be excessive but be excessive in a measured way this is a this is one of nirasawa's uh older art books creature core um and here we can see you saw earlier on the bar cyclops and here is nirasawa's own original bar cyclops sculpture so you can tell you see the the one in the tribute book yeah it, it captures that same sort of style but like I said, Nirasawa knew what he was doing. So yeah, the the tribute book really it really is about like you know preserving like his characters. This tribute to Yasushi Nirasawa art book is currently available in the Fantasmic store, though supplies are very limited. If you're a fan of monster art, garage kits, tokusatsu, this art book is definitely worth checking out. This is Renzo with Fantasmic. And thank you for watching.